What's up, everyone? It's uh, Snapper77. Uh, today we're looking at a war here we had against an uh, alliance called Zovacorp, I believe it was. Um, just scouting out my lane there a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's my first recording uh, in a while there. I was on holidays uh, last week, so I didn't uh, didn't record any wars or anything like that. Uh, but uh, this is the first one, uh, first one recorded in a little bit. Um, we uh, we lost a couple. We won a couple there while I was uh, on holidays that week. Um, this was a close war. It ended up coming down to uh, a little bit of diversity. We had an edge in diversity by a little bit, and we also had uh, I think ten more defender kills than they did. Uh, so yeah, it was was a good good solid war. Two uh, pretty evenly matched alliances. Um, yeah, I, I had a really good war as well, other than I didn't, uh, I, I, like, that darn stun immune bleed node always seems to have my number. Uh, I gave up one attack bonus there, and uh, yeah, that was it. Other than that, I had a pretty clean war, I'm not even sure. I don't think I got hit up until that node either. Um, this node was uh, science, I wasn't really sure what to expect here. I didn't see any persistent charges, so I was just happy it wasn't going to be Void or something like that, or Modoc. Ended up being Rhino, so I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, uh, Stark Enhanced Spider-Man just chewed right through him like Swiss cheese, pretty much. Uh, don't even think I took any any bit of damage whatsoever in this match. And so yeah, that was the first match in the books. I was pretty happy with that match, and... Uh, pretty happy for the most part for this for this uh, war in general a uh, second match I believe was science as well five I think it was a five star science uh, I was thinking it was gonna be yellow jacket or spider-man um, those are the typical science champs you'd see on this node uh, if it was a cosmic you'd see someone like symbiote spider-man or uh, if it was uh, tech you might see a uh, war machine here but yeah, yeah, Stark Enhanced Spider-Man does really well against Yellow Jacket. There's no, not really uh, any concerns at all. I was just happy it wasn't Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man's pretty easy for Stark Enhanced too, but you can still, you can still get hit with, uh, you can still get hit with the odd uh, auto evade can uh, kabam you. So I, I just built up my ten poise charges and uh, went in for the kill and. That was it. Now the next match was all or nothing and I seen it was a cosmic and I automatically knew, okay, it's going to be Hyperion. Uh, Hyperion. It's uh, pretty standard uh, to, to see uh, if it's cosmic on all or nothing, it's going to be him. Sometimes you can get a uh, curveball like a Phoenix or something like that, but uh, I was pretty sure it was Hyperion. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, so the plan here was I, I, I wanted to just time the heavy attack just right. Um, I wanted to get him to full power before I used it, and I wanted to use my L1 to push him to L3 and then drop my heavy uh, for the power drain. And it ended up get working out pretty nicely there. Uh, and now I was in a little bit, okay, I gotta get him down. Uh, am I gonna be able to get him down before he gets to L3 again? Because my heavy won't do me any good. And then my, come in with my L1 and, uh, and KO'd him there. I was pretty happy with that match. So everything went uh, pretty well according to plan there. And uh, I was able to get him down before he got, got to L3. I think I had a little bit of a wait here now. I think my next node was linked uh, to... I'm not sure if I got to fight the next node before I went to bed. Yeah, I think I got to fight this one before I went to bed, and then the rest was the next morning, I believe. This node ended up being Nightcrawler. I had a feeling it was going to be Nightcrawler. It's usually usually always Nightcrawler on this node when it's, uh, when it's a mutant.
That's why I went with Stark and Hat Spider-Man. I use Stark and Hat Spider-Man pretty well all the way to the bleed node. Uh, yeah, he's just... Uh, he just sort of chews through this lane for the most part other than uh, than certain matches with that. If there's classes, uh, certain classes where I feel that Blade's better to be used. Um, I was surprised I didn't... Uh, I don't even think Nightcrawler even evaded once in this match. Uh, I didn't try and make him switch. I don't usually typically try to make him switch uh, with Stark and Hat Spider-Man because there's not really a lot of need to because he just he just goes through them so fast to begin with. So it's, you know, you can get... Try to make him switch, you can get, you can get yourself hit or mess up. So I just rely on my parry for Nightcrawler unless it's uh, stun of me and then, I'm, then I'll probably try and make him switch possibly. Um, this match was against Punisher 2099. I was kind of thinking it was going to be Punisher 2099. You know, it's got kinetic reactor. And, um, I learned in the past there when he, when, uh, Punisher 2099 uses his L1 on this node and you block it, he goes to two and a half bars of power. So it's Punisher 2099 is a pretty good placement on here, but Stark Enhanced Spider-Man is is, is, is really good on the to fight on this note against Punisher 2099 because he's got the auto evade so you can evade his L1 and uh, it just makes uh, makes this match pretty pretty easy in general plus you just build up those 10 poise charges and you're not gonna have to worry about uh, you're not gonna have to worry about evading too many of the specials or blocking any of the specials any, anyways so uh, yeah, I just uh, did my opening parry got uh, got a couple combos in and baited his L1 and I, I don't actually I don't even think I I didn't I didn't even build poise charges on this match either it was just just uh, parry and combo and use my L1 and uh, got him down it was a pretty uh, clean match uh, it was pr I was really really happy at this point that I uh, made it pretty clean all the way to uh, the bleed node Nodes typically gives me a little bit of trouble, uh, more so actually than the than the mini boss nodes. Uh, I always seem to find opponent place really annoying champs on this node that um, that just seem to mess me up. Uh, I I was thinking it was Tech Five Star on Duped. I was thinking it was going to be um, Ultron is who I was thinking it was going to be. There was. Uh, Ultron's got the regen you can't bypass because it's stun immune and uh, he's got the auto evade so it kind of makes uh, makes sense to put Ultron on this node. Uh, it's a pretty good placement in my opinion. Uh, I went in with Ghost Rider. I thought okay with Ghost Rider uh, I should be able to get, get Ultron down with this. Uh, but I ended up uh, I slowed I slowed, uh, slowed it down a couple times there. I got uh, kabammed with uh, the uh, auto evade where you go to attack and he auto evades right into an attack where you don't even have time to react. Um, one of the clips in here, um, I have, I was testing out uh, unfazed mastery and I still have it, I still have it on even though I don't like the mastery, it sucks, it's garbage in my opinion, but um, I, I, this, this is an example here you'll see coming up, not, not on the first, uh, slow down but the second one you'll see um how unfazed works there you can see he just auto evaded and attacked all in one motion but uh yeah the next one coming up is unfazed you'll see he evades uh, and then goes to attacking and i go unstoppable and it stops me from getting uh, hit you'll see it here yeah see unstoppable evade and then I was able to, because I went unstoppable, I was able to recover. And uh, yeah, that mastery would actually be really good if that triggered more often. But I can honestly tell you that the that that the amount of times that unfazed come works for you, it's uh, it's not not good at all. Uh, yeah, I, I I missed. I was late on my uh, my counterattack on that L one, and it really put me behind the eight ball there. I tried to go for. Uh, Go for a life steal there after I uh, evaded his heavy, and then I just missed on it, and then I, I uh, got uh, KO'd. 
I was a little bit sort of steamed after that one. Uh, I went in with Blade after this, and uh, it didn't. Uh, I was hoping it was going to bypass the bleed because it was a villain. So I, I I went in with Blade rather than reviving Ghost Rider here, and uh, this was one of the matches where it didn't bypass the bleed. Uh, it was a pretty good match overall. I, 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 Got all turned down pretty easy. I made one mistake here. I think I got hit by his L1. I, I, I don't know how I missed the evade on the L1. I mean, the Ultron's L1 is pretty easy to evade. I was really trying to focus on regen. Yeah, right there. So it took, just took a monster amount of damage off me. I was a little bit concerned there because of the bleed and my health. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get him down. But uh, his uh, Blades L2 just... Uh, really saved my uh saved my ass there big time <coughs> my uh mini boss node this war was uh was a juggernaut i could have used stark enhanced for this one but uh, i just decided uh, to burn some health pots and uh, go with blade on this one um i wasn't sure how much mt that uh that he had and i didn't want to build up poise charges and uh have be pinned on the wall with uh, MD being a major factor, so I just revived Blade for this one. Threw on some boosts because at this point of the war, I realized that uh, the war was really close, so I didn't want to mess around. I just revived my Blade here, uh, topped up his health with some potions, and uh, it ended up I didn't end up really needing them probably because uh, Blade just absolutely annihilated this uh, five-star Jugs on this node. I was uh, really impressed with uh, with this match, how, how Blade did. I think I used two or three potions. Yeah, I think I brought him right to full health pretty well. With three, I was debating there to put another one on, and I decided, Dad, yeah, might as well throw another one on, just in case I need, uh, need it for the boss. Uh, we had a Medusa boss this war. Um, I, I don't even know who. Uh, I ended up having to go out, go out to, uh, to Home Depot and get some paint, so I didn't uh, didn't really get to do too much there. I was just trying to think if I if I wanted to put another boost on. I think I was looking for one of those power gain ones. I don't think I have any skill power gain uh, skill power gain boosts. Yeah, the plan here was just to to parry and. Uh, parry and attack and get to my L2 and drop my L2 and uh, regen any uh, any damage that I might might take on but you can just see the look at just look at the amount of uh, the amount of health that's dropping off his hit it didn't bypass his uh, unstoppable there blade usually maybe 50 50 he stops that but look at the damage on this L2 just absolutely destroys him now we got assassin kicking in right there and it was just just over just like that and yeah the 43 hits to take uh five star uh juggernaut mini boss down that's uh, pretty uh, pretty impressive for uh, blade and uh yeah that was our war i hope you enjoyed it and uh have a good one